So I will explain the motivation of this joint paper with uh, uh, Consani and Marcoli. And the title of the paper is Fun with F1. So what is F1? The idea of F1, uh, if you want the field with one element, uh, goes back to a paper of uh, Jacques Tietz in which, uh, in 1956, in which he explained how one can define the Chevalet groups sur le corps de caractéristique 1. So, uh, in general, if you want to define Chevalet groups over arbitrary fields, you just have to give what they are for A1 cross A1, A2, B2, and G2. And uh, what it's found is that if for these four cases, you give the geometry of the polygons with two, three, four, and six sides, respectively, you obtain very interesting geometries, and the symmetry groups happen to be the vial groups of the corresponding Lie groups. So it says, if you want, that this degenerate case is, in fact, very, very interesting, and it suggests the existence of this algebraic object, which is called the core de caractéristique 1. So uh, while, if you want, the geometric motivation for this uh, object, the field with one element, is fairly clear and also occurs in the theory of Tietz buildings, I mean, the algebraic side uh, has been dragging behind, and recently there has been an upsurge of interest with the motivation coming from uh, the Arakelov theory and uh, an unpublished paper of uh, Kapranov and Smirnov, in which they were uh, suggesting, if you want, the idea that uh, this object F1, or rather its spectre, spec F1, should be the absolute point, with the idea that at some point it should relate to the Riemann zeta function. So, uh, what we have obtained in this uh, joint paper with Consani and Marcoli is a very precise relation with the Riemann zeta function. And it came from previous work that we had done on a system of quantum statistical mechanics, which is called the BC system, which uh, was introduced in the early 90s in a joint work with uh, Jean-Benoît Bost. And this system is strongly related to zeta in the sense that there are three properties. There is a fact, if you want, that its partition function is a Riemann zeta function, that it undergoes a spontaneous symmetry breaking with a phase transition, and the pure phases are parametrized by the embeddings of the cyclotomic field in the complex numbers. And finally, and this is most important, and this comes from a recent work that we did uh, uh, with Consani and Marcoli, the fact, if you want, that the dual system gives a spectral realization, and from a cohomological standpoint, of the zeros of the Riemann zeta function. So uh, then uh, there was a, a remarkable coincidence, if you want. We were not interested in uh, the field with one element at all, but what came up is an equation by Christophe Soulet. So we stumbled on this equation in a paper of uh, Christophe Soulet. And uh, what the equation says is that, you know, even if one doesn't know what is the absolute point and what is F1, well, uh, I mean, what one can do is do a base change uh, with respect to the natural extensions like uh, the finite field FQ as extension FQN. So there is a similar story for F1. And if you do the base change, you obtain exactly base change to any ring like Z. For instance, you obtain the group ring of uh, the group Z bonded Z. Now, this is exactly the place where now the relation with the BC system and the data function appears. And that's the main result of our paper. And it appears as follows. When we defined the BC system with uh, Jean-Benoît Bost, the algebra was put by hand. It was a cross product of the group ring of Q mod Z by certain endomorphisms. Now, what we have shown in the present paper is that uh, this is exactly the reflection of the tower of extension of F1, the tower F1n, with divisibility properties of n, together with the Frobenius correspondence.